Hey guys, it's Warren here, and today I'm embracing the power of Frozen. Today I'm making Red Snapper on Papalot using Arctic Royal Frozen Red Snapper fillets that are available from Iceland. What's great about this is frozen fish can be just as fresh as fish from the fish counter, and almost half the price. So, for each serving, take one small peeled potato and using a sharp knife, slice downwards just like you would with dauphinoise potatoes. Set the potato aside and then slice 50 grams of peeled carrot into 1 cm pieces. Then set aside along with 40 grams of washed mange too. Now, take one tablespoon of red pesto and pour in half a tablespoon of breadcrumbs. Thoroughly mix together and then set aside. With all your ingredients prepped, lay out one large sheet of baking paper. And now we can begin layering the ingredients, starting with the potato, then the mange too, and then the chopped carrots. Sprinkle over one teaspoon of dried oregano, followed by a drizzle of olive oil. Place one Arctic Royal frozen red snapper fillet on top and grind over some pepper. And finally, take the pesto and breadcrumb mixture we prepared earlier and spread over the top of the fillet. And now the empapalot is ready to cook. Securely wrap the ingredients up in the baking paper, being sure to secure at each end. Then put the empapalot onto a plate and place in the microwave. Cook on high or 800 watts for 5 minutes. Microwave timings may vary, so after 5 minutes, if you feel the empapalot needs any longer, simply loosely wrap it back up in the baking paper and cook 30 seconds at a time until cooked through. And once cooked, remove from the microwave and carefully unwrap the baking paper. Sprinkle with some freshly chopped basil and there you have it. A really simple, tasty and quick way to get one of your two weekly portions of fish. And did you know Iceland have a range of new seafood dishes that can be cooked from frozen in just nine minutes? How cool is that? And this fruity de mer tastes pretty good and is full of all my seafood favourites. And if you loved the look of this recipe, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not a regular viewer, and if you do give it a try, remember to leave a comment below.